I'm Anna and I'm here today with Sander van Vecht. Yeah, and we are going to be talking about LFCS. You wanted to know about LFCS, right? Yes, so what's the difference between LFCS and RHCSA? Uh, RHCSA is Red Hat, LFCS is Linux Foundation. Uh, Linux Foundation is the people that make Linux. Mm -hmm. And Red Hat is just Red Hat, one of the companies that creates uh, a Linux distribution. Right. Let's compare it to uh, getting your license to drive a car. Mm -hmm. RHCSA is a license to drive only Ford and nothing else. Oh. LFCS is the license to drive just any car. And that's the main difference. LFCS is for any Linux distribution mm -hmm. and RHCSA is just for Red Hat. So if I want to become certified, which one is the best? Well, that really depends on where you are going to work. Uh, fact number one is that Red Hat is the biggest uh, Linux distribution on the planet right now. Mm -hmm. So RHCSA really is good qualification because chances are that you are going to work with Red Hat. Right. Uh, but in some countries like Germany, for example, or uh, Brazil or uh, France, for example, uh, SUSE Linux is much bigger. And if you go to a SUSE employer and you show your RHCSA, he's going to tell you, get out of here. We need something else. Right. So if you want to be qualified for just any Linux distribution, uh, take LFCS. So is that the most popular on the market right now as well? Or is that Red Hat still? Now, Red Hat is still the most popular. And that is because the demand for Red Hat certification is so high. And Linux Foundation has uh, launched LFCS not so very long ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, LFCS makes a nice qualification because in order to get certified, you really need to do it. So you right. need to sit behind a machine, you need to type the commands, mm -hmm. create your configuration, which means that an LFCS certified professional can do it. If you compare that to LPI, for example, mm -hmm. LPI, as you certainly know, is text-based questions only. Yeah. So you need to pick the right answer. Who are you going to believe as a Linux professional? Someone who has obtained a certification because he has done it, yeah. or someone who has just uh, learned a couple of questions with the right answers from an exam cram and got his certification that way? Yeah, obviously, the person that did it. Yeah, and that is why I think that LFCS is so very important uh, because it's a much better certification than LPI and eventually everyone is going to know that and LFCS is going to be the generic Linux certification and when it takes over the current position of uh, LPI then I'm not so sure uh, which one is bigger if that's going to be LFCS or RHCSA. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.